Your musical ear is a muscle and it needs to be trained regularly to stay fit. So today we're going to play a little game that I like to call, Where'd the 251 Go? There are many possible variations to this, but for today we're going to keep it real simple and only use major 251 chord progressions. That is using a minor 7th, a dominant 7th, and a major 7th chord with no alterations whatsoever. I've broken this game down into easy, medium, and hard levels, and then at the end there is an expert challenge for you to try out. So here's how this works. I'm going to play a C major 7 chord, followed by a 2-5-1 to anywhere, and it is your job to figure out where the 2-5-1 went. I will play each one three times, with the second time isolating just the bass notes. You should write down your answers so that you can check them at the end when I reveal everything. Here we go with number one. These are going to be on the easier side. Again. And the last time, number one. Okay, here's number two. Again, number two. And here's the last time, number two. All right, let's do one more easy one before we ramp it up a little bit. Again, here's number three. This is on the harder end of the easy spectrum. Here it is again, last time, number three. All right, now we're going to start getting into a little bit more difficult ones. And in case you're wondering how I categorize these, I really just did it according to my own sense of which ones I think are the hardest to hear. And it usually has to do with the interval of the new key from the previous key. So if you'd like to know how I'm categorizing easy, medium, and hard, you can look in the description where I've written everything. All right, here we go. Number four. Again, number four. And once more, the full version. Okay, number five. Again, this is going to be medium difficulty. And now, number five, complete. Okay, number six, again, this will be medium difficulty. Again, number six, just the bass line on the 251. And again, complete. Okay, now let's do some harder ones. This is number seven. Now again, just with the bass notes. And the last time, number seven. Number eight, again, this will be a hard one. Again, just the bass note. And all together. All 
And the last one before we get to the expert challenge. Here we go. Just the bass notes. And now the complete one. So now we're going to do the expert challenge. And for this, what I've done is I've actually strung two two five ones together and they go in random directions and your job is to try to keep track of where they are. Each one's going to start on C major seven. It's going to two five one to somewhere else and then it will two five one to somewhere else. And you need to name those three main key centers. Here we go. I'll play it again just with the bass notes. And once more, the complete. How'd you do? Expert challenge number two. This is the last one. Here we go. Starting on C. Again, just the bass notes. And once more, complete. So here are the answers to everything, and you can give yourself a grade based on how well you did. Post your success rate in the comments. I would love to hear how this was for you. The ones that are hard, make them easier by practicing them. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching.